Hello, my name is Frederick Layton. Welcome to my house. Here we have the Arab Hall. It is a little addition for the sake of something beautiful to look at. I will leave the appreciation of its artistic merits to your own discerning eyes, but I will try and offer an insight into the concept and function of this room. I said it was a little addition, quite so. It is, in fact, an extension which was not part of my original building plan. During the course of my travels, I found that I had accumulated so many objects of beauty, tiles and so forth, that an additional apartment was really the only obvious solution to displaying them all. It was a labor of love and took four years to complete. The design was inspired by a reception room I visited in the Sicilio Norman Palace of La Ziza in Palermo. Architecture has always been a passion of mine. Whenever I am traveling, I make vast quantities of architectural studies and sketches. I find that sketching is the most irresponsible and restful thing I can do. It restores my health and fills my time up delightfully. The mosques I visited when traveling in the Middle East were the inspiration for the domed ceiling. The woodwork lattices and the zanana above the entrance were acquired in Cairo, but the stained glass windows were made in England, and I'm rather proud of them. Part of the success of this room derives from the marriage of old and new. The 16th and 17th century Damascus tiles, for example, are combined with the skill and craftsmanship of my contemporaries and friends, Mr. Walter Crane and Mr. William de Morgan both have contributed and designed for this room. The result is a room whose sole raison d'etre is beauty, and it also makes for a splendid gentleman's smoking room. I recall that one evening after dinner, whilst I was enjoying a cigar with some friends, one of my guests quite forgot where he was and accidentally walked right into the fountain. Not only that, but two of my fish, I keep Japanese golden tench, were so alarmed by the intrusion that they made a bid for freedom and leapt out of the pool. Most unfortunate for both guest and fish. <laughs>